In this video, we'll look at the importance of having a role object in the RIPE database. Let's suppose that Lara is your colleague and she is the administrative and technical contact for your network. Her person object is referred to as admin C and tech C in many objects in the RIPE database. What happens to these database objects if Lara leaves the company? Imagine that you are the person replacing her. All of the references to Lara's nick handle must be replaced with your own nick handle. That's a lot of unnecessary work. But there is a better solution for this. Create a role object for your department or organization. A role object can group several person objects together. It is a good way to represent a department in your company, such as a network operations department. With one object, you can provide a single point of contact to several persons. It can save you a lot of work. Start by creating a role object to represent your team. Team members should already have a person object in the RIPE database. All you need to do is add their NIC handles to the role object as an administrative or technical contact. The role object also has its own unique NIC handle. Other objects can point to it for contact information. If someone leaves the team or someone new joins in, all you have to do is update a role object. That's it. All the other objects will remain the same, since they already point to the role object. All the contact information is immediately up to date. You can have more than one role object to represent different teams in your company. Let's see how you can create a role object. Make sure you are logged in with your RIPE NCC Access account. Go to RIPE.net and select Web Updates. Choose Role from the list of object types. All maintainers already linked to your RIPE NCC Access account will be automatically selected to protect your role object. You may choose to remove any of them by clicking on the X. Start by giving your role object a name. Choose a name that reflects the function of that role in your organization. The name does not have to be unique in the RIPE database. Let's create one for your company's network operations department and use that as a name. Provide the department's contact information, such as postal address and an email address. Add the NIC handles of the person objects that will be grouped under this role object. These person objects can be administrative contacts or technical contacts. The NIC handle is a unique identifier for the role object. Leave the word auto-1 and the RIPE database will create one for you. The source is RIPE because we are creating the object in the RIPE database. Click Submit. Done. You now have a new role object. Please remember your NIC handle. You will need it when you want to point any other object to your role object. Now you can add your role object as a contact in any of your objects in the RIPE database, such as inetnum, inet6num, organization or maintainer objects. You do that by adding the nick handle of your role object to any of these objects.